Hey everyone, welcome to our Stats 2050 class. I'm excited to have you here for this semester. Uh, so what I wanted to do was go through and kind of walk through how we are going to use uh, this course website. So this is My Open Math. Some of you may be familiar with this already. Uh, a lot of you, though, might be your first time. And even if you have used My Open Math, uh, I use it a little bit differently than uh, your other instructors. And so I want to just walk through and kind of show you what are some of the key features and the tools that we're going to be using. So right at the top, uh, you have access to this course walkthrough video, clicked right here. And directly underneath it, we see that we have our syllabus. Now, if we go ahead and we just, if we click the plus symbol, it will just pull up the syllabus right here so we can see it right in our My Open Math. It's kind of handy. Um, you'll be using a lot of these uh, document viewers. And uh, so to get started, I just wanted to go through and kind of point out a few of the important things with syllabus. Uh, so you'll see uh, my office. Uh, is in the Physical Science Building 335, and there's my phone number. Um, you'll probably not catch me very often. I'm not going to be in my office very much, um, but if you need to get a hold of me, please email me, and I kind of have something unique, uh, email hours. Uh, if you email me kind of during the day, I will try really hard to get back to you Monday through Thursday, um, but in the late afternoons, late at night, don't expect me to respond to you immediately. Uh, I'll respond to you uh, the next morning. Uh, I also have office hours, uh, but they're by appointment. So you just need to send me an email and I would be more than happy to do a Zoom meeting for you. Uh, I've done a bunch of them already and they are um, they're super handy and I was able to help a lot of people. So feel free uh, to do a Zoom meeting with me. Um, the required texts, uh, basically, you can either do the Discovering Statistics, the second or third edition. Um, neither of them are exactly um, required, but they are kind of the oh, what a lot of this class was kind of uh, built off of. And it follows the, the same oh, structure as those books. Uh, they're not required, though. Uh, if you like the materials that I give you through my videos and through other things, uh, that's totally fine. Uh, but if you're finding that you're kind of struggling a little bit, please grab one of those books. Uh, they're, they are very good. Uh, what is required is software for this class. So you're going to need to have at least Microsoft Excel 2016 or the, the next one uh, that was released. And you're going to need to have R and R Studio. Uh, both of these will work on your Mac or your PC. Uh, I have had limited success with Linux, uh, and it will not work on, uh, on a Chromebook or an iPad. Uh, so you will need access to a computer, um, Mac or PC, both of them work. And there are other videos that are going to teach you about how to actually get those things loaded up, and I'll, I'll be talking about those later. Uh, required hardware, uh, you will need a webcam. Uh, most laptops, uh, it's built in and it's totally fine, but if you don't have a webcam, um, eventually you will need a webcam so that you can uh, take your exams through ProctorU. Uh, so that will probably be the, um, the resource that we will be using for taking our examinations. Um, anyhow, you'll, you're probably going to need a webcam at some point in time. Okay, our evaluation criteria. Uh, we basically have kind of four things. Um, periodically, I will ask us to do activities. They're pretty much completion grades. As long as you do it, um, you will get your activity points. Um, so once again, easy points, uh, pretty much completion grade. Next thing through is your coursework. And your coursework is worth about 25% of your grade. Uh, so that's going to be essentially what we call, you know, like our homeworks. We call them benchmarks and guides. Um, you will be able to uh, to work on those and a lot of them you're able to work on until you get the grade that you want um, so that you can kind of go back through and do a whole bunch of practicing i'll give you more information on that later uh, certificates are basically our quizzes uh, and they are worth 10 percent so they're basically just trying to make sure that you have gathered the right information through each of our sections um, and the certificates is where I pull a lot of my material for my exams. And the bulk of them of your grade is going to be in your exams. Uh, we'll have two, uh, one for our midterm 
and one for kind of our final. And we see the grading scale cut off, so it's kind of our standard scale. Uh, if I see the need, I may shift the grade um, the grade point down, which means like I might make an 88 an A in the class if I feel that it's important, but I'll never pop it up like all of a sudden make a 92 is what an A uh, is. Uh, so anyhow, uh, that's our grading scale cutoff. Here's our tentative schedule. You can look at this, um, but this is really rough. Uh, we are going to look at the course calendar and that is what you really should be basing everything off but anyways tentative calendar um, this is just some more explanation and then here is our additional class information so prereqs some of our goals uh, your student rights and responsibilities academic code violations basically if I feel that you're cheating or plagiarizing um, I will confront you directly uh, and I basically have a zero tolerance policy so if if I have problems with that, I'll just kick you out of class. Um, I have not had to do that yet, so let's keep that. Um, official means of communication, please only email me through um, my Casper College email, uh, which is right up here. This ethan.harris at caspercollege.edu. Do not use the Moodle for me or do not use, um, there's sometimes some messaging forums within my open math. Please don't use those. Um, please just use my uh, Casper College email. And I think that's about it. If you feel like there's any harassment or discrimination happening, um, you can contact me or you can contact anybody above me. Uh, once again, uh, it's a zero tolerance policy. Um, if you need any accommodations for extended time, uh, for working on assignments and for your examinations, uh, please go through the college's services. They'll send me an email and it's super easy for me to make that happen for you. Um, but I need to have it go through the correct channel. So just make sure that I get um, some sort of email uh, coming through uh, Casper College, letting me know that, that you need those um, oh, additional extensions. And it's not a problem, just make sure that it gets to me. All right, so that takes care of the syllabus, and now kind of for like actually going through our class website. Uh, so what we start off with is this calendar, and the calendar is really important. Um, it is basically what we are going to be um, seeing where our due dates are and things that are coming up. And so as you can see right now, we have an activity that is due tomorrow. So if we click on the actual day, down below it pops up a little bit of more information. It says data collection icebreaker. And if you click on this, you can actually go straight to the activity and it'll pull it up and it has this activity for, for you to go in and fill out responses and go ahead and do. So if we go back now to our My Open Math, uh, what we can see is we can also go to Wednesday, and on Wednesday we see that hey, we've got these benchmarks and we have some certificates. Now if you notice, these benchmarks, they are grayed out. We want to talk about what exactly that means, because if you notice, you can't click on them right now. And the certificates, if you open up the certificate, uh, it says that we need a password. So we'll go see how we actually open these up and how we uh, get into those uh, assessments. Okay, so let's start off by going down and looking at our what's called the Statistician Toolbox. So I'm going to open this up first. So the Statistician's Toolbox is in this class we're going to be learning uh, basically a whole bunch of different skills of using um, different uh, different programs, mostly what it's called R and R Commander and Excel. And sometimes you're going to need to know how to do you know certain things like import data or how to flip some numbers around or how to make your columns rows or you know just kind of how to manipulate your data. And in here, uh, the first thing is just this is a link to our YouTube channel. So I've got a whole bunch of videos in this class. If you need to just look, search them through the YouTube channel, you can do that. But if we look at the R Commander tools, uh, I have this first one really important. This is going to be getting R and R Studio running on your computer. This is a must. We need to get this done in like day one or day two. Please click on this and follow the instructions. 
to get those software running on your computer. I expect that there are going to be people who have problems getting these things loaded, and that's fine. Uh, please just come and talk to me and um, email me. We can do a Zoom meeting. Nice thing about Zoom is I can even just take control of your computer and get it loaded for you. Um, so anyhow, please watch those videos. Get as far as you can. If you stumble, that's fine. Just come talk to me. And then down here, we've got all of these other videos about like uh, how to install Arc Commander, how to change our data type. And what we can do is we can, let me just go ahead and click on change data type. You can click on it and you can start watching this short video it shows you how to change the type of data that you're working with. Okay. So that's that for the R Commander tools. I have them also for like Excel tools. Uh, I don't have anything in there right now. I'll add some videos in there as we go along. And then the flow charts and cheat sheets. Uh, these are just like quick references uh, for some of the various things that we learn in statistics. And if you need just a quick cheat sheet, that's where I'll dump them and you can use it. So anyways, statisticians toolbox is just there to help you out. All right, now into our actual class. So the class is broken up into four cores. Right now I'm just showing these first two. It's the same pattern once you see how things are going along. So I'm going to go ahead and open up core one and we're seeing our first three um, or our first three sections. And I'm going to open up section one, which is sampling and data. And at the very beginning, what we have is kind of our learning objective. So right here I have we want to recognize and differentiate between key vocabulary terms, et cetera, et cetera. Down here, the textbook, remember this is for reference only, but we're basically covering chapter one and chapter two. So if you do buy the textbook, it, this kind of tells you where in the textbook we're going to be looking at. Um, Naked Statistics is a, another kind of reference book. It's really good if you want to kind of like a big, um, big picture idea of kind of what's happening in statistics. Again, not required. And then additionally, I also post like some real world articles and podcasts uh, if you're really interested in learning some extra things. So these are like they're reading assignments, uh, but they're not mandatory, uh, but they do provide really good material that is relevant for this section that we're in. All right. So scrolling down, each section has these three kind of like sub um, subgroups called section material coursework and certificates. So we're going to always start at the top with our section material. We're going to open it up. And then we have an opening activity. And if we open it, this is the icebreaker. Now, this data collection icebreaker, that was this activity. So basically anything that you need to do in class is going to pop up on the calendar, which is nice. Uh, but you can also find it inside of our um, section material and opening activity. All right, so that's kind of our first thing. And the opening activity is usually some sort of way to introduce an idea uh, into our uh, into our class. Uh, you don't really, most of the time you don't need to know much of anything in, in order to do the activity. It's just a lot of times it's just collecting data that is useful to explain kind of what's going on in, in our new sections. So that's number one. Number two is we have what are called our video lectures. So uh, instead of, you know, just telling you to read a chapter in a book, I have gone through and I have done a ton of videos for you to watch of me standing in front of a light board. Uh, so let's go ahead and watch that real quick. So if I click on this intro statistics, uh, it takes me to this assignment and I'm going to say start assessment and I'm going to click play. And when I do, so these are links to my YouTube channel. And if we go along, what it is, is this is a light board. And so you will see uh, these all have things, questions written up. Um, and anyhow, so I build the, these whole things. Um, this is our light board lectures. And most of these videos are somewhere between uh, five to, it kind of maxes out at like 20 minutes because they're, they get boring after too much time. But at the end of each of these, let me fast forward a little bit. At the end of each of these, you have a question. So you'll have to be paying attention to the video. You'll answer the questions, or sometimes you have to, you know, click on multiple things. Um, and once we do that, 
once you answer this guy and I'm going to say submit this question oh you see so I got this one wrong I could go back and try it again or if maybe I just made a prop a kind of a if I just made a mistake you can go through and click on another one so this one it says numerical summary and graphics fell under which subdivision of statistics and I don't know let's just kind of underneath analyze so I click submit now and now I've got a full point out of that now I'm going to go back to my class and when I finish this one if you notice this one had been grayed out and now it's available so what this is is it means that you need to go through and watch and answer a question on each of those videos before the next one opens up and you can see down here what the prerequisite is it says 100% on data types so I need to get 100% on this one before I move along on down so you've got to watch these videos and once you watch these videos if you go to the section coursework once again these are our assignments so these are our benchmarks and our guides so the guides are going to show you like exactly how to use the software uh, in order to do our class uh, the benchmarks a lot of times they are either just practicing those skills or dealing with just basic concepts like vocab um, and some just other simple conceptual ideas but if you notice you can't do any of these until you watch the right videos I want to make sure that, that you actually have gotten the material before you start to blow through the assignment so here on the benchmark for types of data you have to get hundred percent on data types if you look up here that is our next video that we'd have to go through so anyhow everything is kind of hinging on these videos so you watch through these video lectures and then you do your courseworks and then basically at the end of your section you will have what are called certificates open up and the only thing that you're missing here is what is a password you can click on this thing but you can't get in until you have a password the password pops up usually after about oh you know two days three days uh, so it'll should pop, pop up either on Tuesday or Wednesday so that you can get in and do the certificates and remember these are just the, the like the section reviews to make sure that you actually know what's happening uh, in the section it's basically just trying to make sure that you know and you can prove to yourself that you know the correct material from the section if you really struggle on the certificates uh, you should probably contact me through zoom or email uh, so that I can help you out on figuring out what you actually uh, should be um, working on to master those skills once you have gotten through the certificate then you're going to be ready to move on to the next section data summarization and it does the whole thing yet again where it has our material coursework and certificates kind of rough overview of what we're trying to do and on again so breaks it down usually it's two or three sections per core and then once we get to core two we have a midterm exam and I will post dates on those uh, it's roughly going to be midway uh, through the through the semester and then once we get through a midterm you will be able to see your core three and core four uh, but that's kind of how the class is structured what you're supposed to do um, my open math is very handy too because we have uh, the grade book so you can click on the grade book I have an invalid student ID but when you're in the grade book you can actually see how you're doing alive so as soon as you do any of your assignments you'll be able to see your grade um, now uh, sometimes the the grades will be grading things that are like available but haven't been graded yet so you'll have to kind of take that into account and also there are times where I will need to go in and manually grade things and so your grade might not be perfect as soon as you hit submit because I got to go through and grade it first um, but kind of in a nutshell, that is our class. I'm excited to have you here and good luck on getting things started uh, for this semester.